god. God, is that giving you a butt pucker? I do not want it hitting that bolt. Hello and welcome to a relatively quick episode. Today I am trying to prototype a new climbing hold. I've spent a couple days kind of going over the cam and working through the product and trying to see if I can really refine the model and I think I'm officially ready to try and machine a second climbing hold. This time around we are going to go all 3 8 tooling again so I've got to modify the uh, spindle aka router to lift it up so I have a bit more Z clearance which was kind of one of my biggest problems I ran into on the last time round is that I was machining this thing in such a way where I had very little Z clearance above the part. Uh, still don't have a ton, I'm actually doing all my retracts with about 100 thou above the part itself, but now I shouldn't actually run out of steps, which was an issue I ran into previously. That's the idea, I'm gonna quickly, blah, blah, quickly modify the router, move that thing up into position, and get to cutting, because we actually have food here pretty quick and I'm ready for food. My part all loaded up i've got it zeroed i have the tool loaded up and uh it's gonna be roughing fast as fuck so that's definitely gonna be something that it's gonna be a little tricky to film i'm gonna have my finger over the oh shit button pretty much the whole time so you're gonna have to just bear with me on this God, is that giving you a butt pucker? I do not want to hit that ball. looking nice and pretty up until the end. What the fuck just happened? Ah. Oh, you know what? This climbing hole has a bit of an overhang. The profile I just tried to cut is below the overhang. I originally went, eh, it's not that big of a deal because it's gonna cut up to that model point. It shouldn't contact the model though, right? I think it did. I think it bit into the model instead of just straight lining down because it's a 2D profile, not a 3D profile. It doesn't have a model geometry comprehension into the cam. So, oh. That was doing so well. Ah. All right, let's take a quick look. All right, one thing is for damn sure gonna be tricky with this production run here. That is gonna be dust collection. This is already insane. Ugh. Because I don't really feel like taking this whole thing off and redoing my zero, and I think actually I can still salvage this part in some respects, I'm actually going to modify the contour path so that way instead of it just being a single contour path, it does it in maybe say three step overs, um, and also slow it down a smidge just so that way that end mill doesn't get a chance to bite as bad and pull into the part. Fortunately, it's only a small amount that ended up uh, biting in, so I'm not really losing too much sleep in terms of uh, the final product. If I have a couple little defects, all right, well, that's how this one goes. So now it's actually gonna take three passes to try to chase it in, which should hopefully mean it doesn't take as big of a bite at that center section. And then it means I get to do the finishing pass. Long story short, this is not gonna be a production hold. I just want something to show for this thing. So we're gonna try and 
send it and see what happens. Salvaged it. Hmm. Only a couple small little things. Got my new tool loaded up. We're gonna go ahead and try to do the nice, uh, whatever the fuck you call it, finish pass. Sorry, I just finished food. I'm entering that little bit of food for me, but I wanna get this done before the night's too late. Okay, not perfect in the slightest, especially that last finishing pass. I have some stuff I gotta do, but that's a climbing hole. 100% that's a, take a look. So I know this is a very short video and it doesn't seem like there was a whole hell of a lot that went into it, but this has been weeks, if not months worth of thought and time and energy that has gone into this final situation where I have a climbing pole that's nice. You can actually match it. Got a bit of a, a bit of a sharp edge up top here, but I can go ahead and chamfer that real quick and I can also modify the cam so that way that works out a little better. But and there was no rotation so that indexing pin that also helps lock it. It was perfect. I didn't have to clamp down a ton. There's a slight little depression there but nothing major. Quick little pilot hole off to the side, some finish work and this thing's this thing's gold. That uh, 20 thou step over still leaves a little bit of a curve here at the sloped edge, but the top here is perfect surface finish. So I'm gonna have to play around with that a little bit, see what's going on there that's making that surface finish. But I know, again, short, simple video, not uh, not this crazy dramatic story, but I'm gonna say that's a successful climbing hole. It's only 90 degrees, but it damn near feels like it actually is a bit positive on this. It almost feels undercut, even though it's not, just because of how sharp that is. Wow, that is awesome. I'm gonna modify this part a little bit and make sure that the, the cam works, but. I think I could actually batch some of these out. Um, I've got a first successful climbing hole on the new work holding, which the work holding worked mm, an absolute beautiful treat. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.